Hello everybody! So, several days ago, Robert demonstrated some paper battery which is activated by water, based on some research paper. The link to this research paper will be also in the description of this video. Because if you want to replicate this kind of battery, then you need to read this research paper to see what amounts of materials you will need. So, because I'm really interested in interesting batteries and this kind of paper battery which is activated by water or some salt water is quite interesting to me. That's why for this reason I will repeat, I mean, I will make this kind of battery by myself. So, I already make this battery, but because of you to get a little bit better idea how this kind of battery is made, I will repeat this process. So what you need uh, to make this battery is of course, because this battery is some paper battery, you will need some paper. The paper will act as a separator. And this paper I soak already into some salt water. I soak this paper for around 10 minutes in some salt water and then I put it out and I dry it. And that's it. Uh, and now you also need three inks. One ink will be the anode ink and this ink is based on zinc. So to make this ink you will need some zinc powder, some ethanol for the solvent and in my case for the binder I use some PVB. So, to make this anode ink, you need some fine zinc powder, some ethanol, and some PVB or some other binder. And then you need some cathode ink. The cathode ink is made from fine graphite powder, ethanol, and in my case, I use some PVB for the binder. And the third ink is some current collector ink. And this current collector ink is made uh, by using ethanol for the solvent, PVB for the binder, and some carbon black for the conductive material. And that's it. You can also see some difference between the colors. This is the zinc, the zinc one graphite one and the carbon black one. So the current collector ink, the cathode ink and the anode ink. And now I will make this paper battery. And finally, the current collector ink. I will apply this current collector ink only on the positive side, because on the negative side you already use some, oops, some metallic zinc. And that's it. Okay, maybe some info about uh, the positive uh, graphite ink. Uh, if you make this kind of battery and you use some graphite ink, uh, and in case that you don't get good voltage, around 1 volt or 1.1 volt, uh, then into this graphite ink you can also mix a little bit of activated carbon. The activated carbon will help to elevate the voltage a little bit. Now I will dry completely and then I will test this paper battery. Okay, the battery is dried and 
Now I will soak this battery into some salt water. Like so. One point one volt. This one, one point one volt. Two point two volts. Yeah, two paper batteries activated by this salt water can easily light up some LED. But of course, if you have a little bit better current collectors, here I have some Grafo. Or if you press each cell, we together then you will get much better power output from this kind of chess so guys that's it for now and we see us in the next video bye